Yo, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the Exciter in Ozone 8. The Exciter is a multiband coloration tool, I like to call it. And what I mean, like, coloration, it coloration means that when, like, a signal comes out of a piece of gear, uh, namely a piece of analog gear, it, it colors it. it. It kind of changes it. And, the, and a good example is, like, you know, dry... Uh, electric guitar going into an amplifier even if there's no distortion no saturation or anything everything's on low there's still like color like it colorizes it it makes it sound you know like warm vintage bright dark whatever it colorizes it and this is what uh, the exciter is is, uh, is doing so i'm going to kind of make it uh, uh, easy for everyone i'm going to click this little x here and right now, there's only one band, one band. So it's just a single band exciter. And what you have here is you can have up to four and you can add them back by doing this. And this is your crossover point. And that's useful and I'll get into why in a momento. Basically, you have, a different, you have different styles that you're running the audio through. So you got like analog color and you can adjust the amount. Right, it affects it. You can get something uh, a little more, uh, I guess, aggressive with retro. Right, that doesn't sound too great. And the reason why is it's affecting all bands. It's affecting the whole track. And the idea of having a multiband is you can have, say, an effect affecting the higher end, but then leaving the lower end alone because you don't want to affect the low end too much because that's a lot of where like the body of the track lies you know you could you know add another one here another band which would be band three and you could use retro to kind of boost the hi-hats giving it uh, a bit of flavor i guess or color or uh, another term that we tend to make up to describe what we're doing to sound so yeah there's retro uh tape tape is uh it's a little bit more brighter than the rest. Uh, tube, it's kind of tonal, if that makes any sense. Uh, tube is, it's easy, it's easy to kind of distort, but it's a quote unquote warmer distortion. And uh, maybe I'll do a video on this a little bit later, but it's um, even in odd harmonics, uh, which uh, contribute to the sound. And then you have, you know, warm, which uh, it, it generates even harmonics only which is pretty cool. And then you have a uh, triode and then dual triode, which is tube gear, essentially. A uh, triode is using only one side of the tube. Dual triode is using both sides of the tube, which uh, it produces more uh, overdrive. So yeah, so you can use and just experiment. But what I do is a general rule of thumb is uh, less is more. And if you split these guys up kind of gently across uh, frequency bands, that makes sense. Or I just close it and then I open up the one that is uh, the default. This is a good starting point. So like the low end, we can just solo that. It's a good way to kind of listen and uh, take a listen to what's going on. And I can do that and I can be like, hey, what's going on here? Maybe this might uh, benefit, I'll just select that or whatever, or go down here, which is the blue. It is my benefit by a bit of tape, just a tiny bit of tape. Right, less is more. And then maybe this guy up here, I'll solo it. Right, maybe this could benefit from, uh, maybe something a little more warm, maybe like a triode. Just to add a little bit of, high end but not like an eq boost that we, which would cause like uh ringiness and things of that nature you want the the triode or like harmonics to kind of boost things you know you want to add extra harmonics not boost ones that are already there if that makes any sense and then uh, this part right here maybe uh we can just add a bit of tape and then just be done with it which tape is a bit of a compression tape is also a compressor as well so there's that. Oversampling uh, basically boosts the, uh, the 
it, it oversamples it, so it converts it from whatever your project settings is. Is mine? I guess mine's like uh, forty-four point one. Then oversamples that, uh, doubling it, and then that basically uh, makes sure that you don't get anything called aliasing when you're using distortion and adding harmonics on the higher end, closer to the Nyquist limit. Um, typically, yeah, you're going to want to use you know the best quality that you can uh, for oversampling, unless you're uh, uh, you know unless you're running out of uh, CPU power, it's not that much of a hit. But yeah, have that on, it's all well and good. And uh, yeah, it's always, it's always, we should always strive to have like the highest quality possible. Uh, also, I forgot to mention that we have uh, mix, mix uh, amounts here. So say if I wanted to do something gosh darn aggressive, I can actually take it that out and then mix it in slowly. So I'll still get those like heavy harmonics, but it's not as pronounced, but they're still there kind of thing. That might be an extreme example, so I, I won't do that. So right now, uh, yeah, like before, um, in our e uh, EQ, we can process the stereo or process the mid and the side uh, uh, separately, which I think is like a super awesome, uh, useful tool. So say if you want like the sides to be a little bit more like, uh, like uh, present or something, you want to do something cool with the stereo mix, you'd uh, take the sides and you'd kind of boost those a bit. And that might add like a nice kind of stereo image to your, to your track, to, your, to the tune you're working on. Um, yeah, the, the possibilities are uh, pretty good. Important thing is you like less is more. It's, it's easier to get carried away doing this thing. Cause you're just like, eh, I can't hear it. But when mastering and working on music in general, electronic music is, is, uh, there's a tiny little things that accumulate into the overall picture, right? So tiny adjustments of EQ. Uh, excitation, compression, minor compression, stuff like that. Less is more, more or less. I think I, I said that a little bit ago. Anyway, this is uh, the exciter for Ozone 8. I hope you enjoyed. Take care and have a good one.